Hi, it's Ed Hicks with Flyer Magazine, and we're here with Ivan Shaw, a legendary British designer, and uh, his amazing aeroplane, the ISA 180 Seeker. Ivan, good to see you at the rally, great to see the aeroplane. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you're getting on with uh, flight test. Well, thanks, Ed. Uh, yeah, I've done the uh, first flight. In fact, I've done three flights. Yep. And uh, like everything, there's, there's good news and there's bad news. You know, you tick the box. The good news is that uh, it flies quite nicely. Uh, the stability felt right. I had no alarm bells ringing. I've opened the envelope from full aft stick, st forward CG, 220 knots, which is what we cleared to at the moment. And uh, control was really nice and uh, the stability was all good in all axes. So, so that's good. And it felt nice. And uh, the field of view is, is stunning, you know. So that's a big tick which I wanted. All the major things yeah. seemed to work. The only thing we had was uh, uh, oil temperature was, was carried on rising or barely stabilised on the first flight. And then I got these, uh, we've got a 912 IS, which is the latest all dancing engine from Rotax. Yep. And I got a lane B1 in light. Uh, which means that uh, you know you don't take off with it, and, yep. or if it is, you land prudent to land. So popped it back on the runway, and uh, that's happened on every flight. But we all know what computers are like when they work; <laughs> they're wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> and, and when there's uh, when they have a glitch, there can be a real pain. And uh, I'm sure this will be something small. It might be something on the airframe, yeah. but uh, we've already changed uh, crank position sensors, swapped the ECU. Uh, we'll find it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, uh, other than that, it's uh, it's good. Uh, the second flight, as you may be uh, know, I had uh, the retractable gear is the Armstrong method, yeah. and it's balanced. So you have bungees to help it up because it's 40 pound of retracting mass, yeah. and then uh, you pull it up and down. And in the ground, I've done it a hundred times, times, and it worked perfectly. Yeah. Uh, in the air, it retracted very easily, yeah. which, which sort of made me a bit sad. Hmm, I wonder if these bungees were a bit too tight. tight. And sure enough, they were, but when I came oh. to, uh, when I then came to put the gear down, I couldn't yeah. get the gear down. Yeah. I could get it down to here, but just the air load and even bringing it back to min speed, yeah. I just couldn't get it down. So unfortunately, I had to do a wheels up landing, oh, okay. which isn't the, the, the way you want to do it. We, yeah, how, how did that go? Did it, did you do any damage? Or uh, no? I got away very lightly. I stopped the engine yeah. uh, on finals, so uh, actually stopped the prop. And, and apart from taking a corner off a prop, which looked like you'd filed it off, so I just repaired <laughs> that. And then it landed on the on the rear, the lower fins, yeah. on the um, uh, the engine inlet there. Yeah. Sat there and on the uh, nose. So I, I retracted it and then pulled the circuit breaker with that sat on the door. Yeah. So it landed on four points. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I got away. It was all just tertiary yeah. damage. So apart from <laughs> bruised pride, you know, I mean, it's uh, got yeah, away but, with it quite but, lightly. But that's, but that's, that's flight testing, isn't it? And when you've got absolutely. something that's brand new yeah. and so yeah. many new things. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it, you know, and I, I was. I've done the aerodynamics myself on this. I've always had, uh, you know, with the Europa, Don Dykins yep. to hold my hand really and look, look after that side of things. But uh, this I've done, so there was a bit more risk. So I'm pleased yeah. that at least the, you know, it flies nicely. Yeah, so, um, so hand, handling, because you, all yeah. your designs have always had good handling. This has got similar. Yeah, so far, yes. Yep. You know, what we've seen, as I say, from full aft stick, 120 knots, yep. uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, things that do work, the wing fold works spectacularly well yeah we've, uh, we've witnessed that comfort yeah. the comfort the field of view the smoothness yes, quietness yeah. of it all ticks in the box yeah. so a lot of positives but you expect what we call the childhood illnesses oh, in a yeah. new aircraft yeah yeah and you mentioned obviously you mentioned 120 knots that's just your limit speed at the moment isn't that's it? right that's, that's, that's right yeah. initially we cleared to that that'll do us a lot of flight testing yeah and then of course uh, opening up usual two things looking at the slow slow, slow speed that's the stall departure side of things and yeah. then the other thing is you're opening it up to, to a VNE and eventually VD. Yeah, because your predicted cruise speed is, is relatively high, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, x plane saying 180 knots, knots and more. Yeah. And the numbers working on the... If I work on the drag standard that I've worked on, the equivalent flat plate drag area, yeah. Mike Arnold got down to 0.8, and I've worked mine at 0.1. Yeah. And I've got a smaller wing, it's retractable, or yeah. was. And so I'm, I'm expecting... Uh, 
to be, I'd like to think I could get less from the equivalent flat plate drag area of a square foot. If I do with fuel specifics of 0.41 pounds per hour yep. on the engine, which is class leading, yeah. and uh, with an 85% efficient prop, that's what the numbers say. Yeah. But we all know about numbers, don't we? That's it. But yeah. we'll, we'll see, you know, yeah. and we verified it in next plane, so. Uh. So, uh, any idea, what's, have you got an uh, idea of the stall speed at the moment? Uh, no, if I'm expecting to pull the CL with the, this, isn't one thing I'm going to miss is the Europa Liberty flaps. Yeah. They're slotted flaps and yeah. they're wonderful. Yeah. They pull a CL of 2.2 on the wing. Uh, these are flapperons, yeah. uh, which of course are going to be good ailerons and I think they'll be poor flaps. flaps yeah. 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 And so, of course, they are just a plain. They're not a slotted, they're just no. a plain surface. Yeah. So, working on a CL of about 1.7 max. About 53 knots at gross weight. Okay, wait. Which, um, what is gross weight? Thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. Okay, yeah. And um, what I didn't want when I designed the aircraft, I didn't want the sort of coming over the last look over the hedge at 100 miles an hour. No. I've flown, you know, if you think of uh, the Legacy, the Lance Glass Air 3, they're a fast ship and yeah. they're made yeah. for the American market, long yeah. tarmac runways. And I want it to be able to go off the grass with this. So you don't want to be having a last look at 100 miles an hour onto 500 metres of grass. No. So uh, I wanted something that was. So the wing loading on this is just under 20 pound a square foot. Really, for that sort of speed, you could do with 20 pound a square foot and north of that. Right. So we'll and, and it's a carbon wing, so it'll be stiff. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what it'll be like in turbulence. Yeah. The mission of the aircraft really is to, it, it's a gentleman's aerial carriage. As I, <laughs> and uh, I said nobody. When I looked at this. I couldn't find anybody who designed a single place where I call personal aircraft. Yeah. Uh, if we think of single-seat aircraft, they're normally made, they're one-trick ponies in a way, they're made for aerobatics, thing, yeah. a bit special things like the Red Bull, uh, Taylor Titch or the Red Bull Racers. Yeah. You sit with a goldfish ball on yeah. your head, you know, and you can put a, a biro in your top pocket and a toothbrush if you're lucky. Uh, everything sacrificed on the altar of speed. Yeah. Uh, what I wanted was a, a very practical aircraft with high utility or usefulness. In yeah. other words, folding wings. Yeah. I wanted to carry a folding bike uh, in here, and I wanted an excellent field of view. And uh, so this I came to a pusher arrangement, really, because I did look at scaling the Europa. I'd scaled it up to the Liberty. Yeah. And I thought, shall I scale it down? And I thought, no, I'm going to end up with a Red Bull racer with a goldfish ball on my head if I'm not careful. So, uh, and, and also landing a Europa at 45 knots is squirrely enough on one wheel. Yeah. At 55 knots, it might be even trickier. Yeah. So uh, I went with this because I want the variable load, which is fuel and bags, all on the CG. Yep. And when you've got an aircraft only weighs 550 pound, you know, an, an extra 200 pound, 250 pound in bags and fuel is a lot. can make a lot of difference yeah. unless you bang on the CG. Yeah. I, this is for me to get into it, put a bike in the back, fly from Leeds East to Silly Islands or Isla Mull, one of yeah. my favourite places, fly in there, yeah. get out, have a day of cycling, come back, put it in the aircraft, back again. Yeah. And, and also having a long range Typically, if I went for the Liberty, you, you, you landed at Mull, you then had to go into Auburn and pay yeah. a huge landing fee yeah. for the privilege of buying fuel yeah. that was one and a half times the price of everybody <laughs> else's. So having that range of being able to go there, down from uh, Leeds to Scilly Islands and back without yeah. refueling, yeah. that, that was the mission for this aircraft. And then to be able to keep it in a 20-foot container or uh, keep it at home on a trailer, yeah. That, that was the mission of the aircraft, to make it uh, not just a one-trick pony, basically, yeah, but yeah, to yeah. make it, as I say, the, and you didn't have to be a millionaire to do it, you know, this is it. it was, and, and I also, I think, with the day, makes you wonder, you know, with, with global warming, I think the day of the uh, hen party to Prague for the weekend, you know, is that really going to be on? And we, I think it behoves us to, to build now efficient aeroplanes. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to have gone electric from the get-go, but it's not there yet. No. Uh, but this, it, you know, the numbers say to do 100 miles to the gallon. Okay. Wow. At 120 knots. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. it does three quarters that, I'll be I'll be a happy You'll man. Be happy, yeah. Yeah. But it, 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 but it, it, what you don't want is people pointing fingers, which they will be doing shortly. You know, I think <laughs> at big cars and yeah. and yeah. certainly gas guzzling aeroplanes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, and I wanted the uh, I wanted the performance through aerodynamic oh, efficiency. Yeah. yeah. Not through 
I know you're an, an American designer, but you know the Americans reduce drag by putting a bigger engine in. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? Yeah. If if I was paying their gas prices, yeah. why would you be looking at anything else? That's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so yeah, that's where we are. As soon as we get this little glitch, which we will do, yeah. then I can get the flight test Back program to. done. And I want to really get on with that because I always say the worst time to start a flight test program is the first of November. Yeah. yeah. We want to be on with it now on before the, the day short. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and uh, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to flight. I've spent that many years now designing and building it. How, how long has it been now? Well, I started when I was 67, and I'm 76 now, and then I'm 76 now, and then I'm 76 now. And okay. And I thought, I'd be, <laughs> when I started, I thought, I've got to have this finished by the time I'm 70. 70. <laughs> <laughs> but that's aviation, isn't it? And, and Absolutely. You know, you've you, built you, that, sometimes, so. sometimes you can't put a time scale on and, it. And building a kit aircraft, uh, or you know, somebody that's already designed, even a plans build, oh, is a fraction, a fraction of the time that, of building. That could be hard enough, doing something scratch built, oh. and then scratch built of your own design. Yeah, if I give is, you a blank piece of paper and yeah. say, so, hey, uh, it's a big, but you know, it's uh, it's fun. I couldn't have done this if I hadn't have, I couldn't have done this design if I hadn't have done the Liberty, I couldn't yeah. have done the Liberty if I hadn't have done the Europa, Europa yeah. I couldn't have done the Europa if I hadn't have done the, the, the Twin Easy, yeah. I, I couldn't have done that if I hadn't have done the Very Easy, yeah. you know, and so this is a culmination of 50 years in aviation, I like to think. Yeah. You know, I've served as apprenticeship, if you like, so this, I mean, hopefully, but... Uh, and and what, a, what a crowning jewel to, to your achievements, really. So. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Will you ever make a kit? The answer to that in as a kit for home build, that depends on the market. Although I've, I've had two people actually say they want one yeah. this weekend, you know, say, look, I, I want one, you know, when can I have one? And I've got all, you know, about 15 or 20 people who say I'll have one. So, yeah, it's tempting. But I, I think I want to be convinced that, uh, that to do it as a kit, I see the market for this really is in surveillance. Yeah. Uh, I've designed it as a pusher as a drone as well, yeah. so it, it yeah. could be droned and fly for 24 hours. Uh, so, but yes, I mean, I, I've got all, it isn't just a prototype. When I did it, I could have just built it of the Rutan method, the yes. moldless yeah. composite, like yeah. you build a long easy. Yeah. And so I decided that it was going to be my last aeroplane, so I thought, oh, let's go for gold and so I tooled up and I've got all the I've got a turnkey operation now yeah so it's not a question of making a prototype route and method and then going out away for years to do all the tooling and yeah. start afresh I've got all the uh, the, the plugs yeah about 140 plugs 140 molds uh, I've got uh, 1200 CAD models 1800 drawings all the stress calcs all the welding jigs, assembly jigs. So I've got a complete turnkey operation for it. So, yeah. but then it's just, and part of the reason it's here, what, what interest is there? Yeah. And, you know, single, yeah. single place airplanes haven't normally been successful on the market, but then again, they've always been a one trick pony for a particular job. We've always, we've, we've always got a little bit of a theory on one place airplanes at Flyer. It's like the one place airplane needs to be an airplane that you can fold up ideally and put it alongside your other airplane. Yes. And this is... Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why I think if you had a Cirrus, yeah. uh, you know, a big, a big Cessna, yeah. this is Che, you put this under the wing of a, a Cessna in your same hangar and you think, you know, the guy who's got a Cirrus, shall I pull the Cirrus out and yeah. go for my hundred dollar hamburger to see the lads? Or, hey, you know, just this, is, this. this is a yeah. fun thing. Yeah. It? It's going to be the same speed and yeah. uh, a lot more economical and maybe more fun to fly if you're on your own. Yeah. So, yeah, I could see that market. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Well, we'll but I, yeah. hopefully, I think if there's, yes, I'd like to see it go forward. I've done yeah. a lot of work and I've got all this, I have two containers full of molds yeah. and plugs and uh, I, I, I yes I'd definitely like to see it go forward yeah yeah, yeah. excellent well, well see what want happens. somebody with a younger pair of legs than me <laughs> like you had experience I tell you what this I, I think this is so beautiful and I'm not normally a composite man but I would build one of these so thank you yeah, yeah. well fantastic we look forward to hearing how you get on with the flight testing and we'll come and catch up with you at Leeds East and uh, and wish you well I've been sure thank you very much thank you thanks for watching if you enjoyed that, please give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe.